Hello, lightning strikes. Today, I wanted to talk to you about... <clears throat> I wanted to hop on and talk about creativity blocks. And so, um, I have a lot of experience in um, creativity um, behind the scenes. So... I started making music about four years ago, but I only started releasing one ye like um, on Spotify, like on all platforms, which I will link it down below. When did I start? Um, last week, and I was saying that um, I like like God just literally downloaded into me that that was that was evolutionarily stupid because. When you don't release your art, you are not on schedule with your future. When you are distracted with things, and it doesn't even have to be music, it can be just your YouTube channel or your business or anything that you know, you sensed in your spirit that you need to do, you're literally not going to be on time with your future. <laughs> like, your blood. So, like, a lot of us, we stay in jobs where we know deep down we want to be something else we want to be something else and you know it's sometimes it's creative usually it's creative but we're moving in a collective society as you are currently seeing we are moving into a more creative and feminine based society so more feminine businesses where boundaries um flow being able to work independently feminine businesses where you can work at home you stay at home work um where it's like absolutely incredibly um <clears throat> abundant the like like the frequency is just so deep in abundance and so i just seen a video online on tiktok and this guy is like god doesn't want you to be rich and jesus christ was poor and was um jesus christ was poor and he was so why would you want money? And I was thinking to myself, I'm like, first of all, money is energy. I maybe we don't have the same view on, on money. Like that's probably what it was. Like I'm like, I don't see my. I see. First of all, how can an object be evil? Jesus Christ! Like <laughs> the object itself is not evil. It's the way we've tainted. Our relationship to this object and so this can go for anything this can go for like the way the porn industry or food has been tainted or medicine and doctor like it's all good things that have been distorted so badly that we've gone as far as to say that it's evil and so <clears throat> he used a couple bible verses to reiterate that and um i personally the way i navigate it is I think money is an, it's not, it's an object. I wouldn't say money and fan is evil or a laptop is evil. Like, I think that I can almost guarantee you if I went down and <laughs> looked deep inside that scripture, you would find that it was twisted. That doesn't make sense. Like, it's not a logical way, um, or not twisted, but like English is like a lousy, it's a lazy language. Um, even though it reveals a lot of alchemical truths, metaphysical truths, it literally, like, sometimes <laughs> you'll be speaking and, and I'll joke and I'm like, whoa, that word literally means what the total definition of the word is. So personally, um, I think jobs are demonic, okay? You are, God did not put, your mother did not carry you. Let's not even talk about God. Your mother did not just spend nine months of her life giving up so many things, you know, going through a lot of sacrifices, which our parents have sacrificed so much, right? If you had like a decent parent, right? But even then, just the mere fact that she was holding you in her body for nine months, she didn't put you in here so you can work a job. She puts you on here so you can work on your purpose. And so when you release your craft, okay, you are on schedule, stay on schedule. <laughs> Okay, and this goes for me a lot of times when I'm teaching I have I'm like we're talking to each other right now But at the same time, I'm like, you know, I know almost like just the shift is so real like lately. I've just been feeling so like almost 
um, unreal how much my life has changed in the past couple years and how positively uplifted I have and how little it has to do with my external reality and how it 100% it has to do with my internal reality and when I went on this journey this inner work journey do you know how freaking scared I was N like taking so many risks listening to advice like okay so let me tell you a little bit about me I grew up in a very Christian dominated and I respect that church so much but it wasn't the end all be all and I remember I think in my last video I said like like I, so after a certain age I was like I'm like, bored <laughs> you guys keep saying the same thing and I literally went to church last Sunday and it was the same thing like oh you know and I was I tried to tell a couple of people and they're like oh no that's so bad to say you shouldn't say that about god you shouldn't say that about church you said i'm like no i feel bored i'm even going to look at other like youtubers where like i'm trying to seek you know you know teachings online and you guys are sounding the same like nobody's really doing i don't think that people are expanding the way that the church i would prefer the church to expand um and so and i think that was the right decision for me to go on this deep 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 when i say when i say deep i mean i probably healed my great great grandmother that's how deep i have healed you know what i'm saying because it's just too much healing that has happened and like honestly kind of not a short period of time but like over like since 21 to 24 like a lot of healing has done been um taken place and so i realized yes that was the right choice to kind of like step away from the church because you need to evolve in a different way and that involvement is essential um because some of the things that were written in the bible are being just they're not even they're not being taught in the way that it was intended to be taught so um, and that comes from, you know, like a lot of teachers are sketch, like now, like they're not, um, they're just kind of sketch, you know, <laughs> like, but, um, God can only judge, you know, us and, you know, I, I'm not going to, I am not afraid to share that message. I, I, I have no fear in my body anymore. That's not something that I, I'm operating on. I don't care what I think. I don't care what I feel like. I don't operate on that level. I've just decided. And that's one thing I do. I decide. I've made the decision. I'm not doing certain things. That's the decision. I don't have to explain to anyone. And that's a really important thing, like holding your boundaries and your, holding that stability. And so um, what we're going to talk about. So yes, that was mainly the the main point that I wanted to get into is like you know stay on schedule don't be like me okay you're creative this is a warning like if I was your mother or your sister or your friend or someone you I like around me do not under any circumstances behave like me like take that as a direct order from God but when he tells you to do something you have 60 seconds to do it <laughs> 60 seconds and put it out and trust and stop like picking it out like oh, stop i don't like this i don't like that i don't like this that is just toxic energy it's just like it's so toxic you're punishing yourself you're punning you're like and i didn't you know i you, nobody knows that they're punishing themselves like unless they're doing it but you're addicted to the suffering of not being able to like release your your sacred journey this journey like you are it's a sacred like to be online i'm just going to be honest if you are someone who's being called to youtuber or really read a book especially books let me tell you what's actually happening because maybe you don't, you're not understanding hey lightning strikes i just realized when i made the specific mention of books um i said earlier that sometimes my brain is going at paragraph seven and i'm talking so that when you read books um they are downloads so the author well specifically um you know i would say all of the books even the ones that are fiction even the ones that are not you know like we don't know they're downloads and so these downloads are free and available and so when you're suffering or you have a problem you go and find the people who've downloaded the, the knowledge in a book. 
And so, like, for example, How To For Dummies, you know what I'm saying? That, that book where it's like they have how to use Facebook for dummies, how to use YouTube for dummies, or like how to, you know, ride a bike for dummies. And someone downloads all that information into a book so you guys can learn. And so um, this in trains and programs, the books, what I was going to say, have the hardest impact in programming. And so you, if you want to program your mind, if you don't like any version of yourself or you don't like the way your mental space is, um, buy some AirPods. And every day when you go to work, you have AirPods in and you're listening to a book. You're not talking to your coworkers. You're listening to books and getting your free downloads so you can start to gather information to get the fuck out or, or change some aspect of your reality. So anytime I'm with somebody and they're like, oh, I don't read books, I'm like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How are you getting your downloads? I mean, was your mom and dad perfect? And they downloaded everything into you? Like, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. And so, um, when I, when we also, and this goes in for reading fiction as well, but like, this is why in societies you will see that, like, Hit, for example, Hitler, he destroyed books because, and, and only, a, like, if you're not thinking, you're like, why, why would he destroy the books? Because those are the downloads, okay? If you are being downloaded on a regular basis, you are hard to control. Period. Because even that logic, why wouldn't... I mean, like, this is a very sensitive con- like concept, but, like, if... Why would he destroy the books if he knew that people who he even wanted to live would still need to read those books? Because he wants to control everybody. Right? And that's a whole thing but if you um these are downloads just don't even look at them in books if you have struggled with books get rid of the word book it's a nasty word it has too much negative connotation too much of uh, don't even read books just read audiobooks and receive your downloads okay <laughs> receive your downloads they're free people want to help you right okay and then also this computer this video this channel every channel every youtube channel you watch is a is a channel and these channels have the ability to program your mind. So what you watch, in fact, programs your mind. And you know this. We know this. We, f- we feel the vibes when we watch certain things. It programs our brain to do certain things. And um, some people are more susceptible to that. Others are not. But it does program you nevertheless this especially if it's in the form of 808 beats, if it's in the form of music, it will be programming you because especially, if, or a pop song, oh, the pop songs, you you can listen to that maybe even one time and have that chorus stuck in your head. So now you're repeating an affirmation in your mind and it's programming you. So I was saying that when you're um, channeling um, and programming, you, you're not... Um, you have to be aware. Just be aware that that is happening and that will affect how you are going to navigate. Because this is, um, this, this, what we're doing, what we're doing right now, what we're doing, this sharing of information, we have no idea how the future is going to look. And if that, if that is amazing. We have no idea. I don't know what it's going to look like. And I think that the best thing is being as very um, as conscious as possible during that journey. So evolution doesn't kick us out (laughs) because evolution is mean. Okay, she's mean. She'll cut you out. She's giving that goddess energy every day. (laughs) If you're not willing to evolve, you will be left out. And we know this. You even know it now. Like you don't even have to be Christian. You will be left out. You will be left out from the equation. And it's it sucks. It sucks. It sucks when you realize it too, but it's kind of motivating because, well, this is what the earth has been doing forever, like evolving. Like you're just part of this journey of that evolvement. And um, the opposite of the, the habits I you you want to get rid of is the evolvement. And so just embrace the like uncomfortability because... You know, just imagine, I don't know if I said this in the video because I was kind of like thinking about this for a long time before I put on my camera, but I wanted to say like, just imagine the first fish that went out of water, right? It's going like, just think about how uncomfortable that fish felt or whatever it was, the amoeba or whatever the, 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 whatever the first water animal to start thinking about 
making some moves on land, <laughs> starting to up level, aka making some moves in the internet, making some moves in your industry, making some dangerous moves, making some creatively bold moves, taking some creatively bold risk, aka that that sense of evolving the planet, aka um, transforming people's lives, aka changing the timelines of people, like, you know, that stuff, that kind of evolvement. That was probably really uncomfortable, don't you think? And so when we think of these people that we put on a pedestal, we think that we think that they're different. And, you know, you may even think I'm different. And let me tell you something. I think I'm different from y'all because, you know, um, but the reality is you're not. Sorry, you're not. You're just in a place where people don't, you don't have people who are really like you, but you definitely have a story that someone else can relate to. I was reading the comments for a video. I was reading the comments for, but I was watching these videos and I realized that these women who were dating narcissists, they would have the exact same story. It was like word for word, same story. I, like, you I, you can do whatever. I'm just, I'm almost done. Um, word for word, every story was the same thing. And so I was like, like it would be like routine like i to the point where i can't even predict what was going to happen at the end of the um the story because it was the same story same story i'm like oh you know what i'm saying so you're not like you you know you can figure out what i'm trying to say about that and so i put my metaphysics of fasting course in the um the YouTube below and um, enjoy. Okay.